Hello friend and welcome to the slowest sim driving channel on YouTube. We're back in Dakar Desert Rally and this time we're going to be driving with a PlayStation 1 DualShock controller. And we're going to drive in the CRF 450 Rally at Neom. This is nothing scientific, this is just a bit of fun. Well, I hope it's going to be fun, it might be awful. We'll wait and see. Okay, so this is attempt number three. Uh, in attempt number one, I had an issue with the binding. In attempt number two, the bike failed, uh, which was, no, oh my goodness. <laughs> What's that guy doing? Uh, okay, I hope he's okay. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go again. I got about halfway through the stage, I think, uh, about 30 kilometers or so, uh, before the bike failed. I've never had that happen to me before. It just suddenly went on me. Um, and unfortunately the PS1 controller it doesn't have the uh, necessary buttons thanks for crashing into me, that was great uh, for me to access the repair menu so there you go, <laughs> these things happen um, ok so this whole challenge was inspired by Controller Wars of course I'm not going to be doing the Controller Wars thing here I'm not going to be comparing the devices you know, there's no way of doing it yet until a, a real time trial mode is added. And I don't think there's going to be one added because it's not on the roadmap. Sabre have got enough on their plate at the moment, trying to make their games work without adding extra features that they haven't announced. And that was a bit of an issue. So that was caused, I think, by the fact that I don't have analog triggers. And of digital triggers with this being a... Um, PS1 controller. Never mind. I did want to do this before now, uh, and I plan to do this for a while, but of course, we've had issues with the bikes and quads. Put up ahead of us right now. And now those issues are mostly fixed. Oh, excuse me. Now those issues are mostly fixed. This is much easier to do. But as you can see, I'm trailing behind quite a lot. So hopefully we can find a nice flat straight bit for about 20 kilometers and just uh, catch up there. That's what the bike's doing right now. Uh, I've had some issues today with this controller doing some weird things. I, I think it might be on its way out because it's been sending some very strange signals uh, through the... Ooh through the interface. If this is a very, very uh, kind of complex setup just for this video. Obviously the, the PS1 controller is plugged into a PS1 to USB adapter which is then plugged into a, uh, a Titan 1. I've got the Titan 1 setting the controller up. Oh! As a uh, as a DualShock 4. And then I've got Rewazd on the PC which is setting the controller up as a, a wireless controller which is compatible with PlayStation Remote Play and then I'm connected to the PS5 with Remote Play so there's a whole lot of things uh, in motion at once and unfortunately it creates a lot of, um, a lot of controller input delay oh come on yeah so by the time I break for something it's already too late and when I make some sort of adjustment that's often too late as well so I'm not quite sure how long the stage is I probably should have checked but I think we're over halfway and we're in third so we're doing okay we're um, pushing like crazy on this bit because it's flat oh bit of a drop and hit those trees I think we've got a car up ahead on SXS, I can't really tell from here. Too dusty. If it's an SXS, we can probably get it quite easily. If it's a car we can't. It is an SXS, so we'll we'll try and get it on the inside. Going through here if we can. Don't really want to tangle with it. I said we don't want to tangle with it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, jump in front of it like that, and we are clear. You know what? We're in a podium position. I think uh, I think this old controller, which has seen a hell of a lot of use. Uh, could 
if it had a head, hold its head up high, very proudly, with the performance thus far. Thought we could see second place for a little while there, but uh, I've lost sight of it. So, if there's any kind of controller you'd like to see, uh, just let me know, and I'll, I'll see if it's something I've got. I know there's been requests for me to do these challenges with um, dance mats. I haven't been able to find a a dance mat in my price range, which is confirmed as working yet. So, just hold out for that. That will be coming. That will be silly. Maybe I'll try and do it at uh, 500 subs. If you want to see that, get subbed. And we'll see if we can Dakar on a dance mat. Rock the Casbah. Speaking of rocks, shouldn't really be taking the cut there, but I did. And we've got some rocks coming up as well. Big rocks. But we are hot on the tail now of first and second. This controller's doing so well. I'm so proud of it. But we are running out of kilometers to get these P2 P2 with a PS1 controller I'll take that I'm happy with that that works for me amazing tune in again for more Dakar Desert Rally videos and uh, and some silliness with controllers too Thanks to my channel sponsor, Button Bashers, for PCs, consoles, games and accessories. Thank you to my Patreon for supporting the channel and making videos like this possible. And thank you to my Discord for keeping me motivated. Until next time, be good to yourself, be good to those around you. Bye-bye for now.